Dear friends, in this tutorial we are going to look at branches in Git. Let's first see why branches are needed. Uh, if you have code like this where I have this file hungry.py and let's say you are making some crazy changes on this file okay and these changes are experimental in nature so that you might throw them away uh, hence you want to preserve your original code so in order to do that what you will typically do is you will copy paste this file okay and then you will make your changes here I will just call it uh, original file so this one is my original file original file and then you will make your changes here bunch of changes here and then you run it and you kind of do your experiment with it that way your code is still saved in this original file okay but this way of working is not very efficient so git by default supports this branch concept which essentially allows you to do the same thing it allows you to create two branches of your code where you can do parallel code development on both the branches you can make experiments you can test stuff and once things look okay you can merge them back into one file okay so that's essentially what branch will do for you now if you noticed uh, whenever you have git directory you will see master here so master is a default branch that git will give you now I want to make experimental changes on this code so I need to create a new branch so first let's run git branch command when you do that it will list all the branches that you have I only have master right now I am going to create a new branch called thirsty and when I do git branch I now see master and thirsty okay now first you need to make thirsty branch active you see there is a star here and this is in green color which means master is an active branch so to make thirsty branch active you will run git checkout space branch name thirsty now it is saying it switched to branch thirsty so now you are on a thirsty branch again when you run git branch you will see star in front of thirsty okay I will now make my changes so if you are not hungry I want to ask are you thirsty so I will just say input are, are you thirsty and based on the user feedback I will ask user to drink water okay so let's say this is your code you ran it it works fine so now you want to commit it so you'll say git commit before doing git commit you always need to do git add and then git commit minus m water okay so you committed your change into thirsty branch okay now let's so let's check out our master branch back and let's see what our master branch has so I just checked out my master branch and when I move my cursor here you notice that all those changes went away because master branch doesn't have those changes those changes are experimental in nature and they exist only in thirsty branch okay so master is my active branch now if i again go back to thirsty i will be able to see those changes so you notice there is no thirsty change when i when i switch the branch i will now see these changes right so it's quite powerful all right now let me make one more change so i added water now i am going to ask my kid to drink soda as well because he's so thirsty Alright, so I added that and I will now commit this change as well. Cool. So now if you do git log, you will see soda, water, burger, pizza, all the previous changes. And 
if you switch the branch to master you will obviously lose those changes and when you dig when you do git log okay i mistakenly typed it here let me type it here git log i see only burger pizza you see i don't see any water and soda changes because i am on master branch and that branch doesn't have any uh, thirsty related code changes okay so i will keep on making uh, my code changes in my thirsty branch like this execute the code run it and the moment when i feel that these code changes are ready to merge i will do the merge but before i show you the merge let me now make a code change into master branch so if you want to make a code change in master branch you need to check out master branch so now i'm in master branch here i'm going to add fries so i love to eat junk food so i'm not going to eat only samosa but pizza burger and fries as well okay and as usual you do git add git commit to add your fries when you do git log you have fries burger pizza etc but this change eat fries doesn't exist in your thirsty branch you can always verify by checking it out so you see there is no fries here okay so just to give you kind of pictorial uh, view of what we just did you can take a look at this picture so we were on master branch this this line here is a, our master branch and we all these circles are individual commits so you added pizza you added burger and at this point you created a new branch called thirsty so all green color dots are commits into thirsty branch okay so you added water juice here you added fries here so fries is not present in thirsty branch and water and juice is not present in master branch okay so now what we are going to do is these changes look okay and i want to merge uh thirsty code changes into master in order to do that you first need to go to your base branch where you want to merge into so i want to merge thirsty code changes into master branch hence i am going into master branch master branch first okay so master is my active branch and now i will do git merge thirsty this says that merge thirsty branch into master branch when you do that it will ask you to type in the commit message i will do colon wq that will save my commit message and my merge is done so when i look at git log here here after fries i have one more change which says git branch merge branch thirsty all right now when i look at the code here you will notice now it is a merger of these two branches i have my thirsty code as well and i have fries as well so this is explained by this picture here so until this point you were two different branches and now you merged so at this point you have fries and water and juice as well okay all right now when i look at my github repository i only have master here because i have not pushed my changes so this is the place where you see all the branches on github okay i'm going to now push the thirsty branch okay so it says git push all right so this is not all right so you will just do git push and this says fail to push reference up to sorry because it is behind integrated remote changes okay let me do git pull there's something which is not okay git push now when you do git push it's gonna push the master branch all right so right now what it did is when you do git push at any time it is just pushing the current active branch so master changes are pushed if i look at here i see all the all the changes say fries and 
thirsty and everything okay but now i want to have thirsty branch present here as well so for that you need to check out that branch first so now you're in thirsty branch and now you do git push okay what this is saying is that upstream meaning github doesn't have thirsty branch so do you want to push a new branch using this command yes i want to do that so just copy paste this command and what this is saying is set upstream origin thirsty meaning push thirsty to my upstream which is github so now when i refresh and take a look here i have two branches master and thirsty so when i switch the branch here thirsty look at my code this is just my thirsty branch code it doesn't have fries here and if you look at master it has everything okay so branches essentially allows you to maintain two separate copies of your code okay and those copies might have alternate versions of your code your algorithm or whatever you're trying to do all right okay now let's see how you can delete the branch okay so i'm going to show you how to delete the branch so for deleting the branch first let me create some dummy branch now last time when we created a branch we should two commands git branch and then git checkout you can do both the things in one command by doing git checkout minus b dummy so mine what this is saying is create a new branch called dummy for me minus b means branch and also check out that branch all right so now it created a dummy branch and it made that active as well so if you do git branch see you see a third branch called dummy and this is active okay now what i'm going to do is delete this branch all right so git branch shows three branches i want to delete dummy the way you do it is by running git branch minus d d means delete dummy when you do that it says it deleted the branch so now when i do git branch i don't have that branch anymore all right so that was all about git branches and great merging thank you for